Good evening, everybody. Phil here. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Wednesday, the 17th of April, 2024, my final consecutive streaming day of the week. And an interesting one, because today we had a good variety of stuff. We started off over on GSP Gaming for the Level 1 podcast. It was uh, a discussion about Harold Halibut, which I had tried yesterday. We discussed whether I should continue it or not. Looks like, sadly, the consensus is no. People did not generally seem to like it that much. Um... I also discussed how things have definitely changed in Street Fighter VI since last year and this year when it comes to casual play versus ranked play and how basically it looks like casual play. I'm actually getting better matches and more variety than if I had played ranked. I explain why and what's changed in the game and stuff like that. <clears throat> there was also some game news today to cover, so it was a good varied podcast show. And then we jumped back into Elden Ring. Now, we had three choices today that I proposed to the audience at the beginning of the Elden Ring stream. Would you like to see me take on Moog and his Blood Lake and then his Blood Palace and then the Moog boss fight? Would you like to see me go to the mountaintop of the Giants, take on the Fire Giant, and then head to Feral Missoula? Or would you like to see me go to the frozen northern areas uh, and do some of the side content there and eventually unlock the Hailing Tree and maybe start the Hailing Tree? So, based on those three choices, the, uh, the viewers voted and said... Do the Moog Blood Area. I said, okay, easy for me. That's actually where we are right now. And so I went to the down to the Blood Lake and fought off all the three different invaders there. Um, <clears throat> grabbed all the various items, giant crows, etc. Headed up into the Blood Palace. Man, let me tell you, my build this time around, compared to my original build, so much better at the Blood uh, build up to the Blood Palace because all those blood enemies that summon out of the ground that are really tough are not that tough. When I'm using my magic build, I was using the sword, the big sword that I got from the magic dragon, and it basically hits them and staggers them. So as long as I <clears throat> have enough FP, I was able to easily mow them down, and it was so much easier than that first run two years ago. Um, got to Moog. I will not spoil, but let's just say I had time for some other stuff on stream today. We actually headed to the Mountain Top of the Giants, but the, the the fire giant, I will say this, the fire giant was a way tougher fight this time around. I actually think I one-shotted the fire giant <clears throat> or two-shotted him. I can't remember if it was one or two-shotted my first run. This time around, it took me several different tries because I didn't have the strong melee attacks like I did the first time around. So it was a lot of different experience. Um, I had to figure out his weaknesses, where to target with the magic and stuff because he's very resistant to it. But uh, then we're on to Farah Missoula. And in Far Missoula, uh, did some, I mean, fought the first giant dragon there and started to explore the optional areas and the like. Um, and basically got about halfway through. Did we get to the Godskin duo? Yes. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to spoil. <clears throat> I hope that you'll give it a look. This means next time around when we play Elden Ring this coming weekend, um, it'll be probably trying to finish up Far Missoula. I don't know if we will. Depends on how long it takes for boss fights. Remember, there's a couple optional boss fights coming up that are quite tough, plus the main one there. So I guess we'll see how that goes and go from there. But it should be fun, okay? Um, night stream tonight was something completely and utterly different. Tonight, on the late stream on the DSP Reacts channel, <clears throat> I did a two-plus-hour live review of the Fallout TV show. Now, here's the thing. I knew that I wanted to give a lot of time to this because I had a lot to say. Not only did I want to summarize the major plot points, but then I wanted to talk about the ones that I really liked and the ones that I didn't. I wanted to talk about how the show looked. I wanted to talk about lore and all kinds of stuff, basically. Uh, is the show woke? That was another question people wanted me to answer. So, I spent the whole, essentially, first hour recapping the major plot points of the show, the three protagonists, their plot arcs, and how they started, progressed, and ended on the show and the big finale ending, which was so epic on that show. <clears throat> What's hilarious is people in the chat, morons, trolls coming in. This is a summary, not a review. You have to summarize first, or else you won't know what I'm talking about. We had some people who hadn't seen the show, but they were interested in hearing about it. So I summarized it, and then for the whole second hour, which actually was more than an hour, ended up being almost an hour and a half, <clears throat> it was open. Instead of me just talking, it was everyone kind of having a conversation about what we liked, what we didn't like, um, all kinds of stuff. And it was a long conversation that went back and forth and was very fun because of that. If someone would say a comment, I would take my take on that comment. Um, 
The question is, how much do people really like the stream? Attendance was meh, not great, but at the same time, you have to understand this was for a limited audience. This was only for people who had watched the show so far or didn't care about being spoiled on it. So one or the other. Now, how many people are probably going to watch the show and don't want to be spoiled, but may check this out as an on-demand video after the fact? It's a good point, correct? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I enjoy doing it. I'll be honest, I talked a lot. I'm a little pooped from doing it, but I had a great time doing it. And in general, the people that were there seemed to like it. Now you might say, well, what about engagement and support? I would argue engagement was good. Even though we only had between two and 300 people for the stream, those that were there seemed to enjoy it. And that second hour when it opened up to talking, <clears throat> people really seemed to like that. And we had a, a bunch of fun back and forth conversation about the show that I think mostly added. I mean, I think that if it was just me blabbing for 45 minutes, it would have been super boring, but actually having people to talk to about the plot points and beats and the pros and cons of the show, I think was a great thing. Um, now, support. It didn't do bad. We actually got uh, uh, something like, I want to say like over $70 in Super Chats, and we got a couple of memberships. Tips, they weren't great. Tips, we made very little. But it doesn't have to be all about tips every night. Overall, this was very successful for a late night stream. So here's the thing. I liked doing it. The viewers seemed to like it. <laughs> now the question is, how will it do on demand? I have absolutely no clue. I would hope the effort that went into it people will actually check it out. So I'm going to upload it tonight to the DSP Reacts channel. It's going to be two parts. The first part is essentially the major plot points and summary and you know a little bit of my takes on it. And then part two, <clears throat> the full you know thoughts, opinions, likes, dislikes, is it woke, final thoughts, etc. So I'll have both of those parts live tonight. I'm not going to stretch them out. I'm just going to upload both of them the DSP Reacts channel tonight, so you can watch them at your own leisure. I'll add them to a playlist. I'll probably make well, make it the highlighted video on the channel, okay? So, hopefully, people will check it out, and I need feedback if you like it. If you like it, please like those videos and leave comments on them. I need to know, is this a series that you will enjoy, the live, re the live review series? If you like this, I could do this with other mediums. I could do it with TV shows, movies. I could, hell, I could do it with video games finish a major video game, do a night live review with interaction where we talk about the game, you know, what I liked, what I didn't like, summarize what happens in it, etc. <clears throat> I'd be down for that. All right? So let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, and this is something that, meh, well, then maybe I won't do it anymore. I mean, it was a whole night stream, right? It was, and I could have been doing gameplay. I don't you know, could have been doing anything tonight. It actually purposefully left tonight open to try out something, you know, whatever I wanted, and I said... I want some more content for the React channel. The React channel right now is literally just once a week, my clip show, DSP versus the internet. Let's add some new variety content to the channel and see what people think. That's what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys will check out the video, okay? Let me know. Now I am off tomorrow from streaming, all right? And when I return on Friday, it will be some more Helldivers 2 fun gameplay. Well, first of all, it'll be the level one podcast, of course, recapping my day off and the like, game news, etc. Then it will be Helldivers 2, on the first stream, uh, more advancement there. And actually, I just unlocked a bunch of awesome new stratagems when I hit level 15. And I can't wait to try them. And then Friday night is Friday Night Fights, Street Fighter 6 with Blanca again. Saturday will be Elden Ring. And Saturday night is the premiere of the Beyond Two Souls co op with my wife, as long as everything goes according to plan. Okay? Thank you all. Enjoy your Thursdays. Be safe. Have a good one. And I will see you all Friday for another full, fun week of gameplay streaming. Peace out, everybody.